you're building a relationship, whether it's personal or business, I think it's so important that you let people know up front what you won't stand for. By doing it that way and putting it out there like that, I think you'll have a lot less problems along the way. So with that said, here's what I won't stand for in 2009. Let's talk about it. Hey guys, Jay Lamar Farron here from realestateinvestorfunds.com and I want to talk to you today about what I won't stand for in 2009. I remember when I first got started in real estate investing, I kept telling myself, I need to learn this strategy and I need to learn that strategy. And, you know, once I learned those strategies, you know, then I said, okay, now I need this software. I need this type of uh, autoresponder. I need this type of website. And I kept doing this for months and months and not getting anywhere. In fact, it took me two years to realize how I was damaging my own potential. Now besides overanalyzing everything I did, I was making excuses for myself about why I couldn't complete my first real estate deal. And essentially, you know, it was, I was afraid of messing up, but I started making excuses in a form of tasks that I needed to complete before I could take it to the next level. And that is exactly what I would no longer stand for in my life. Excuses! Especially in 2009. You hear it all the time from new and even seasoned investors who talk about why they can't get started in real estate investing or why they just gave up because of the market. And, you know, there's so many excuses that you can come up with about why you haven't accomplished this and why you haven't accomplished that. But what are those excuses doing for you besides holding you back? No one is making excuses for you unless you're still hanging around that crowd that tells you, yeah, you're right, that stuff doesn't work anymore. Buy a house in this market? Are you crazy? Residential real estate is dead. Look, the longer you keep making excuses, the longer it's going to take for you to reach your goals. I promise you that. It took me two years to realize that. Now, here's some common excuses I hear all the time, and I wanted to address them out in the open. The, I don't have enough experience excuse. Look, with all the information out there all over the internet and in the discussion forums, you can gain a lot of knowledgeable experience. You just got to put it to work. However, the best advice I can give you is to get out there and go to your local real clubs and meet other investors, get a mentor, get a coach. I mean, there's so many people that are willing to help you and assist you with the direction that you're going in, all right? You have to leverage OPE, other people's experience. The I read it all, heard it all, and tried it all excuse. Once you've reached a point where you feel you've done it all, it's time to do more. Again, mentors are a great help, and you got to keep those communication lines open at all times. The, it's a recession excuse. This is just as good time as any to invest in real estate. You know, prices are low, and that means lots of equity growth, all right? There's so many strategies that you can use. Wholesaling, lease options, subject to investing, short sales, buy and hold strategies, whatever you want to do in this market, you just got to be a little bit more creative. Okay, and you can still help people buy and sell houses and still make money. The, I don't have enough money to invest or my credit stinks excuse. You can truly invest in real estate with little to no money out of your pocket, even without a credit check. Whenever I invested in real estate, I never ever got my credit check, simply because of the way I invested. On top of that, I know if I needed to get the money, I could. All I needed to do was talk to a hard money lender or a private investor or even seek out some type of funding program, all right? And then I'll be able to get the money. And the reason they don't care about your credit is because they're mostly concerned with the return on investment, all right? If the investment is good, you'll get the money. The, I don't have a big investor list excuse. Okay, four words for you. Consistent marketing and consistent networking, all right? Placing 15 ads a month on Craigslist is not consistent marketing and talking to one person a month is not consistent networking alright so we'll talk about more about ways that you can improve upon that in up some upcoming videos alright make sure you subscribe alright but consistency is key the my partner screwed me over excuse look I know it can be tough to get screwed by someone that you put your trust into and you invested a lot of time and maybe even a lot of money with but the thing is you can't sit around feeling sorry for yourself my mentor, one of my mentors, he was involved in a multi-million dollar business. And his, one day his partner called him up and he terminated the contract. Okay, so there was no more multi-million dollar business. So what did he do? He didn't just 
sit around and start blaming his ex-partner for everything that he did and, you know, start, you know, blaming him for why he wasn't able to move forward with his life? No. He got in the trenches, he gritted his teeth, and he started investing in real estate. All right. Then he and his wife went on to, you know, become best-selling authors, and you know they they reached number one in you know best-selling real estate investing courses, and you know they they've taught so many other students how to invest in real estate and literally change their lives. That, ladies and gentlemen, is called making it happen. And I'm not saying this to brag about them or impress you, but I'm saying this to impress upon you that if your partner screws you over, it's not the end of the world. Anyway, I can go on all day about excuses that people make, all right? but I'm not going to do that. The thing is that people don't create wealth by making excuses. They create wealth by attaining specialized knowledge and executing with a sense of urgency. All right. So for those of you that are serious about taking excuses out of your life and you want to see what I'm up to in regards to online marketing or real estate investing and setting up your own home-based business, go ahead and uh, give me a call with the number below or click the link in the description wherever you see it on this page, and let's talk about it, alright? Also, don't forget to make sure you rate, subscribe, and comment on these videos. In fact, leave me a comment and tell me what you want to stand for in 2009, alright? Leave me a comment and tell me exactly what you will not stand for in 2009, alright? Talk to you soon.